be focusing on physical security cells, much like the UCAS space and many other technologies. There, are a lot of them are trend, experiencing transitions. Uh, physical security, surveillance, and other aspects of it are also experiencing a lot of that uh, across the nation. One of the reasons why we want to talk about physical security is because it's really a, an excellent gateway to a number of products like SD-WAN, IT security, UCAS, bandwidth, cloud servers, primarily because when you install a hybrid or cloud-based uh, surveillance service like video cameras or door entry services, you're going, to, you're going to need to optimize your bandwidth. You're going to need to integrate that with IT security to make sure that that, that, that signal stays private. Also, there's a lot of different ways to connect your UCAS platform to the surveillance system, notifications, video conferencing. It's also quite the bandwidth hog, um, so that's something to keep in mind. And a lot of companies prefer to do an off-site storage of their video surveillance, which would require cloud servers. So again, video surveillance is an excellent gateway. But one of the best ways, one of the best segues that comes with video surveillance is actually IT security because they go hand in hand. Even though this is physical security, adding on a layer of IT security is just as important. And so when you're trying to get in the door for SD-WAN or UCAS or IT security or better bandwidth solutions, usually one of the best front doors for those products is actually video surveillance, which is why we wanted to cover it on today's call. Now, if you're not interested in selling video surveillance, that's okay because there's a lot of people out there that already sell it and probably would do a better job than you. And so working with these companies may be one of your best referral partners yet. So think about whether you want to sell it directly or work through a referral partner. Um, it's also an excellent um, member of your lead exchange. If you're if you form the lead exchange, you definitely want to work with them. There's a company called Comcore, which has an excellent partnering program for video surveillance. You don't have to be an expert, but they can handle all of the aspects of it in terms of installation, managing, and pay you an override for any referrals you bring to their business. Now, as far as finding video surveillance opportunities, we still have to go out and find the clients. But there's a lot of industries that really uh, work well. There's a lot of industries that, by government mandates, like banks and healthcare, that require video surveillance and even require the surveillance to be uh, stored off-site and that there's lots of different layers of IT security. So this is an excellent source to work with. Now, you may be thinking, well, most hospitals and places have this. What's happening is, with HIPAA compliancy, the government isn't, isn't actually enforcing it for everyone quite yet. For some of the smaller medical offices, they haven't actually gone after them completely, although some have experienced some HIPAA regulations. But in general, um, there's different variations of compliancy across the healthcare space. Some companies still don't understand whether or not they qualify for that. So think about insurance companies that deal with sensitive healthcare records they would still be required for that. But there's a lot of different spaces that haven't actually implemented video surveillance in the healthcare space that either aren't aware of it or don't feel like that's going to be enforced yet. But there's a great opportunity to talk to them about implementing something like that. Another popular video surveillance client are car dealerships. Uh, this is something where you have lots of money out sitting outside. And so Putting up some video surveillance here makes a lot of sense. Another industry, obviously banks, um, construction companies are experiencing lots of theft these days, and so providing video surveillance here is also a great opportunity for them and for you. Warehouses, obviously lots of assets here that are left unattended overnight. Retail shops. Um, this is something that's really important. Also, because of the pandemic, there's also a lot of op opportunities for video surveillance because there's a lot of office space that's not being occupied right now, but there's still a lot of off assets inside of it because a lot of people are working from home. Another type of client that you would look for is anybody that's dealing with cash. <clears throat> Oftentimes, they're taking the cash to the bank on a regular basis or at night, 
And so there's different surveillance services that can actually have a live stream and you can talk to the virtual security guard as you're walking out to the car with the cash. And you can set up sweeps or time frames where they're <clears throat> when they when you're expecting to take the cash out, where a live individual is scheduled to be on the phone or on the camera live with you. So if anything were to happen, they could contact the police right away. Now it's pretty easy to justify the cost of installing surveillance, which is why this is a great way for not, it's not one of those sunken costs, but there's something here that actually provides value and brings money back to the company. So that's, it's an investment that they can make. First of all, it prevents fraud. Um, it increases security. It helps prevent employee theft, which is, accounts for about 42% of the theft that takes place within businesses. It helps lower the risk of vandalism, which in some of the bigger cities can be a big problem. It increases productivity because there's a huge, a lot of studies have found that there's a significant increase in employee productivity when they know that they're being watched. And so <clears throat> this definitely helps companies have a lot more accountability when it comes to their employees. It also increases sales, not because the customers are being more productive, but because you can better understand your, your customer's behavior by being able to watch them without them actually really knowing that you're watching them. And so this helps you be more strategic in how you set up your shop or how you run your business. It also helps you avoid legal claims. Um, I think a single legal claim would definitely make this purchase, um, avoiding a single le legal claim can make the, the justify this purchase very easily. Like we mentioned in the beginning, there's a lot of companies that are required either by the government or by their parent companies to have surveillance in place. And so there's a lot of compliancy around that. It also requires less security guards or less security personnel. So rather than having four security guards, maybe you can get away with two. Also, companies who are experiencing recent layoffs, it makes sense to have security cameras in place because those, a lot of companies, although this is a lower risk, but some some companies have experienced um, revenge from com from employees that have walked away. So if companies are shedding employees, <clears throat> it's always a good investment to keep the employees that are still there safe. And another great benefit in terms of financial incentives is to lower your insurance premiums. Uh, insurance companies will actually lower your liability insurance and other insurance premiums because with video with video, video surveillance, it's much easier to prove your case in point. Um, and so you can see here many of the, the advantages of using video surveillance very easily pay for the service itself. And so this isn't a necessary evil. This is a, a very wise investment most companies should be taking into consideration. Now, along the same lines, speaking of business premiums, this is a great opportunity to add another member to your lead exchange or to your referral network. Insurance companies would, would, would be a great partner because you can help lower the insurance premiums and work hand in hand with them. So if you're working with different insurance brokers, you can talk to them about helping their clients get the best deal, but also working together to create a more cohesive solution. And there's lots of different ways to do that, but especially with companies that offer business interruption insurance, which goes hand in hand with disaster recovery. Now, another way to find opportunities related to video surveillance, there's lots of different websites. One of my favorites is crimemapping.com, but you can filter by any recent burglaries in your area. And essentially you can see here on the right, it shows you the address, what happened. You can go to the police report. But there's, you can look up any city, any zip code, anywhere, and identify any of the businesses that may have been affected recently by a robbery or theft, and then <clears throat> simply put in the business address into tenantlist.org, and you'll get a list of all the tenants in the building. And selling video surveillance to anybody in that building should be pretty easy. Now, again, we talked about this earlier, but lowering personnel is also a great opportunity to sell video surveillance. So anybody that's hiring a security guard may be a good fit for video surveillance, either to complement what they're doing or to be able to do 
a better job in some instances. If you're looking for companies, if we have, we've actually compiled a list of all of the companies in real time that are hiring security guards. You can go to ensable.com slash data, go to click on business filters, click on security guard jobs, and you'll be able to get a spreadsheet of all the data. Now, if you, if we have enough interest, we can also track the robberies and provide that data within the da same data set if you feel like we need that or if you want to continue to use the um, public sources, that's fine as well. Now, this time of year, since we're coming up on Christmas, is actually one of the best times to sell, vi sell video surveillance because, first, there's a lot of theft during this time of year. And second, a lot of the security guards need to take vacation. And so the video surveillance can offer an excellent supplement to help provide them with continuity if they need to take some time off in this critical time of year. And so allowing the security guards to take time off but still being able to provide security to the assets is a huge value add that you could provide to these companies that may be struggling to keep their security guards around during this time of year. And that's something that Volvo uh, realized when they were selling their semi-trucks. They didn't talk about what kind of gas mileage they got or how reliable they were. What they focused on was how it kept people in the job because just like security, guard, security guards, truck drivers have a high turnover rate. It's a tough job. And so what they did is they focused 100% on their design, on the fill, on catering to the truck driver. And what they realized was that because of the way they catered to the truck driver, they were able to lower their turnover rate. And so this is in the same way with security cards and surveillance. Surveillance helps you deal with a solution that doesn't have a lot of turnover. So you don't have to necessarily, if you could replace them with a virtual security guard with somebody that's monitoring your service or someone that supplements them or provides continuity when there isn't a security guard, this is an excellent solution that caters to a problem much bigger than theft, something that deals a lot with HR. And so much like how Volvo understood that the real problem was turnover, it's the same thing in the security space. This is not something somebody wants to have to deal with day in and day out. They want something that stays consistent. And so when you notice companies hiring for security, it's because it's something that happens constantly, and it's a huge pain point for a lot of companies, much like it is with these truck driving companies. And so catering to that aspect alone should provide enough value for you to justify, look, let's put in a virtual security guard so at least you have something all the time, and let's see how well it performs. So when you're reaching out to different companies, if you're your, your ideal targets are going to be HR because that's a big pain point. Business owners also care about their assets, about the security of the employees. You know, we talked about layoffs. Uh, lawyers as well, you know, they're going to be interested in understanding, you know, we don't want to have to worry about lawsuits or theft or fraud. So let's try to avoid this from the get-go. It's also a huge deterrent to not even have to entertain those types of things. People will be less likely to try to falsify liability claims knowing that they're on camera, so it would be harder for them to, to do that. Now, in terms of messaging, there's lots of different ways, but I wanted to throw out a few examples of how this would work. There's the two most popular outbound sales strategies. One is experimental selling, and the second one is opinion selling. The first one that we're looking at here is opinion-based selling, where you basically, you're not trying to sell anything, you're just trying to get someone's opinion and information. And the people that work in the trenches, the companies that are in this day in and day out, they know more than you because they experience these things. And so your goal here is just to learn from them. And when it comes to video surveillance, you can say something like, does your company use video surveillance? You may email some of your LinkedIn connections. So I'm trying to do some research about best practices. What's working, what's not? What do you recommend? And oftentimes you'll, feel, you'll hear a lot of different complaints. One of the biggest complaints is that the on-site backup service is constantly failing. And so creating a more cloud-based product would make a lot of sense for them. Or maybe it's just <clears throat> too much to manage. They don't want to have to deal with it. So understanding, just having conversations and trying to learn more than to sell will ultimately lead to more sales. 
The second type of approach, which we talked about, which is the experimental cells, which is where you can say, look, video surveillance makes you money. Let's test it. And maybe there's a few companies. I know it's not something that you can just throw out there, but let's say, let's just give it a try. You know, let's see what kind of impact this has on your business. And so you can put some measuring uh, parameters in place. Maybe you talk about how much theft did you experience or what kind of productivity did you did you see in terms of change. Or maybe there's a problem of, of uh, vandalism. And so you can set up the security cam- cameras and see what kind of impact it has on the business. And that single case study can have huge ramifications across other businesses and markets. If you can find a positive relationship between video surveillance and increased revenues, that's something you could share with the world and would would then become your next door opener for lots of different industries in the same space. So with that, hopefully that makes sense and helps, but again, there's a lot of transition taking place just like there was in the UCAS space back in the day where on-premise Video surveillance is moving on to an off-premise. There's a lot of it's a lot. It's a big pain in the neck. There's also a lot of turnover in the security guard space. Um, in the Christmas season, it's a perfect time to talk about surveillance because of the increased risk and because a lot of people want to take off for their vacation. And so, um, virtual security guards is the way I would approach it. Um, but the, again, this is a great opportunity to sell cloud, to sell disaster recovery, to sell UCAS, to sell IT security, to sell bandwidth. Um, video surveillance is one of the greatest gateways and also can become an excellent referral partner if you want to partner with somebody who actually implements this for you. So with that, I'll go ahead and open it up for Q&A.